It is not just record inflation that is proving to be a headache for global economists. Analysts are also afraid of stagflation. The S&P Global Market Intelligence has issued a warning on the potential rise in corporate defaulters if stagflation strikes. It is referred to as a stage when economic growth slows down, but on the other hand, the unemployment and the inflation surge. Economists say that the global economy is in the middle of a steep growth slowdown accompanied by multi-decade high inflation. This combination of high inflation and weak growth has raised concerns about a potentially prolonged period of stagflation that resembles the 1970s. Some argue that central banks need to sharply increase policy interest rates to get ahead of inflation. So what exactly is S&P saying? Well, the International Financial Service provider says that the number of corporate defaulters could rise more than twofold to 17% by 2023. This if the poor economic growth, high un un unemployment and interest rates occupy a bigger space in the global economy. After doing a stress test on 20,000 corporates, having a total debt of $37 trillion, the agency came to a conclusion that loss makers globally will rise to 10% by the end of this year and to 14% by 2023. In a nutshell, experts are now concerned about stagflation as an evil that can lead to more corporate defaults in the near future. These economic pressures are weighing on the stock market as well. The first half of 2022 is the worst year for S&P 500 in the last 50 years. In fact, stock markets globally have been seeing heavy selling since the start of the year. The last was 25-28.